Let's move now to the Northern Cape. The Sutherland community in that province in the Karua Hoogland region says they're tired of empty promises for tarred roads linking them with the nearby Calvinia town. The gravel road makes travel very difficult and the short journey can take hours to complete. Let's go now live uh, to Sutherland in the Northern Cape. Giovanni Macchiane uh, is uh, there. Giovanni, good morning to you. I see you've got uh, people there. The main issues we're talking about today are the roads. Just describe them to us and the frustration of the people on the ground there. Good morning to you, Peter, and to the viewers at home. The road conditions are very bad and as the ANN7 SA decides to team, we have our own personal experience. The road that was promised to be tarred about six years ago is still not tarred. The gravel road we traveled from Calvinia here to Sutherland was supposed to be a three-hour trip that ended up being a six-hour trip. With me today, I have a community member who's just going to expand more about the problems. Mother vertel ons wat is die impact en probleem met die rosie so baie van inskap. Ja, die paaie is ongerieflik. Oos kinders hierdie draai by my is ongerieflik vir die skoolkinders. Hulle moet sorg in skool toe gaan, maar ons kom hulle van die huis, a school af huis toe en Alle karabakis kom hier om, hoor kom hier om. En dis ongerieflik vir ons skoolkinders. En die stof, hoor ek stof. Jy kan nie meer jou huis oordendlik skoon maak hee, dit bly vol stof. Dit maar al, jylle iets. Dank jy mader. She explains that the conditions of the road are severe and the children have to wake up earlier to go to school because of the amount of time it takes. She explains that the cars that do pass by the houses create dust that make the houses dirty, so cleaning is difficult. She also explains that the dust is also not healthy for the children of the community, especially those who do suffer from asthma and so forth. Giovanni, maybe you can we pose the question to her. Yesterday, there was. Maybe you can pose a question to her whether they are looking forward to the local uh, government elections and they, are they going to be voting? Okay. Mother, het u geregistreer, sal jou stem en wat verandering soek jou? Ons soek eindelijk teerpaie. Die hele dorp, vir die hele dorp, soek ons teerpaie. Daar kan ons kinders gerieflik van die school afkom. En as hulle een stopstraat hier kan sit, nog beter. Gerieflik, ja. She explains that she has registered and she will vote. And she is looking forward to the changes, but they have waited for many years and they hope that the wait will come to an end. We also that the Auditor General of the Municipalities, the results did come out yesterday and the Northern Cape were the worst performing province out of the, with the other three. We understand that throughout the day we tried to have interviews with the Mayor, the Municipal Manager and the Councillor of Sutherland who either declined or weren't available for our interviews. We feel that this is a bit of a disappointment because we feel that the interviews would have been a platform for the municipality to communicate and be transparent with the community. Back to the studio. Giovanni, one quick last question for you. You said that, that three-hour trip turned, turned into a six-hour trip. Just to explain that journey to us. Well, we left um, Cal Calvinia at half past six after our afternoon live, and we arrived here in Sutherland at half past 11 at night. It was a gruesome trip, lot of bumps. The gravel was horrendous. We had to cross bridges that were one way, and with many cars on that road, it is difficult to drive at the night. Mm. Giovanni, you see, it's not all uh, good and well, I guess, uh, for your job. But thanks very much uh, for joining us. I know uh, you'll be tracking things in the Northern Cape, as you mentioned there. Not good news in terms uh, of their audit report from Kimi Makwetu yesterday. Giovanni Machane, they're co uh, covering live from Sutherland in the Northern Cape.